really, really nice. So how many rooms? Five. Is this where our kids are going to be? Yeah. Today, we're at Adage, Kira's studio in Phoenix, Arizona. It's nice to see Kira again. She's been home caring for her newborn baby, but now she's back here with us. Plus, Maddie is back permanently. We have our complete ALDC team now. Competition's tomorrow. This is it. This is our last chance at cleaning, at getting it together. I hope they can pull it off. You're off on the line. Do this with Kendall. You guys are opposite on that part. Oh, yeah. You know, Abby didn't show up the other day, right? Yes, yeah. I know she didn't so show we've, up. We've Is been, she uh, here, Matthew, though? She's here, here but not here. Oh, she's in town. She was on the uh, plane with she's us. A, she's yeah. at the mall. Um, she's getting her hair done. Actually, she told us, um, are we in first class with Debbie Allen? She brought it all on herself. She told us to go We there. told her we didn't want to go. We're here for you, Abby. The kids are here. We're ready to go. Go to Debbie Allen's. We're like, OK. OK. Call okay. your bluff. Yeah. We're gone. For a grown woman, Abby is acting like a complete baby. She is so upset that we went to Debbie Allen's studio, even though she told us to. I can't believe she flew all the way to Arizona to pout and throw insults at us on the airplane. Who does that? A big baby. Yeah. Abby's here. Yeah. Is she? Yeah. She showed up. Let's go Let's get her. Let's go get her. Oh, you didn't get your hair done. I did get my hair done. Oh, sorry. I got my lips done. Well, rehearsals have started, Abby. Are you going to come inside to do rehearsals? Debbie Allen does not leave my house. She has other. Well, Debbie Allen's not here. We but just she used didn't, her she studio. She didn't choreograph anything. She just she, talked. You know, she didn't have her face. She, well, but we didn't ask that of her. Abby, Abby, I don't think you should be in the right to call anybody lazy at all. <laughs> Abby, did you come all the way to sit in the car, or are you going to come in? I mean, you did fly here today, right? Are you going to come in, or is this the plan? I came to go get my eyelashes done. <laughs> See, I told you. <laughs> Let's go. I'm going to get some lipstick on, and I'm going to I'm not talking to her anymore. We'll see you in there. We'll see you in. Just being obnoxious. Why show up to sit in your car and eat lettuce wraps? Seriously. Stay in your hotel room and do that. Why leave LA with all the best hairdressers in the world to come here to get yours done? That makes no sense. Nor mm -hmm. does it make sense to be sent no, as I mean, a team to go to another dance studio either to Well, train. just yesterday, Debbie Allen was there. She was engaging. She was giving corrections, giving praise. The kids were wide-eyed, like, Are listening, you? hanging on her you every like word. The Abby that I knew would speak about dance in very similar ways as Ms. Allen did, but it seems like money has somehow corrupted her, so she's only fixated on the money and not the artistry. Yeah, she's lost her passion. Her passion now isn't dance, it's the almighty green dollar. Hello. Ooh, it stinks in here. What smells in here? When you first walk in, it's like, where are the girls? Right there. OK. Hello, girls. Hi. Hi, sweetie. How are you? Good. I was like, who is coming uh, from this door? Let's see. Let me see the well-oiled machine. It's going to step on stage in the jazz category at Sheer Talent here in Phoenix. So let's take it from the top, full out. The mobs continue to accuse me of abandoning the team. What, because I'm busy? Because I have other priorities now? Don't they realize that if I've done my job in the first three, four years with this junior league competition team, then they should be on autopilot. They should be able to walk in that room, warm up, and stretch. They should be able to take choreography and take instruction from any other teacher in my school. and. They should look amazing. Nice. Now, girls, when you step out on that stage, I want you to be what people expect you to be. Right? You guys work together like a well-oiled machine, especially on weeks when I'm not here, when I have a business to run, and I have things to do, and I have battles to fight. You need to be that well-oiled machine that the Abby Lee Dance Company created. <laughs> 